Welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Jocelyn Momenta. Stay close by because we have quite a show for you today. Coming up, the dog days of summer can leave your makeup looking far from natural, right? Well, from primer to lip color, professional makeup artist Dee Dee Nickel has tips that will keep your makeup looking fresh all summer long. And as millions of teens venture off to college, Abigail Sullivan Moore, the co-author of The I Connected Parent, has advice for parents on staying connected in our digital world. Now let's check in with Teresa. Dustin, I'm here with cooking instructors Betty Ann Donegan and Stephanie Dietz. It's always great to have you on the show. We're delighted to be back. So what are we making today? Well, we, we go to Italy or to Europe once a year with my students, and we took this recipe from Sicily. We went to Sicily a couple of years ago, and this Terrific. is a real, true Sicilian dish. I see some eggplant in there. Yep. Well, caponata is the national dish of Sicily, okay. and this is uh, a caponata done with, a cu with couscous, and it, it sort of like encompasses all the different nationalities that took over Sicily. I love you know, that. North Africa. So we've, we've definitely lightened it up because yeah. in Sicily, when mm -hmm. we went there, they would make their caponata by taking all the individual vegetables and deep frying them for about oh, a half an hour. That would add some calories oil. too, oh, yes. wouldn't it? And then mixing them all back together. So we lightened it up quite a bit for. So this for is this a very recipe. healthy dish. It's also a nice dish for the summer. Great. Perfect. Great. I want to help make. It. Yes, well, let's yes, get yes, started. Yes. Look right into camera two. Tell everyone what they're going to do. Sit back and relax. You're having lunch with style. With a two-year-old at home. I have two daughters. We have five boys and a large family. I couldn't imagine not having AT&T verse I, I, It just would not work for our household. Like if we're watching a movie in mom's room and mom doesn't want us in our room, so we just go in the living room and continue watching it. Call to get AT&T Uverse TV for $29 a month for six months. DVR service and receiver included at no extra charge. Plus get up to 132 channels with HBO and Cinemax free for three months. I need to pause something as it happens. Diaper. He can start screaming, I can stop the show, and then pick it up on a different TV somewhere else in the house. We can record Sesame Street for her, Boring Sports for him, and for me, the real Housewives of Anything. Call to get AT&T U-verse for $29 a month for six months. DVR service and receiver included. Plus get up to 132 channels with HBO and Cinemax free for three months. AT&T U-verse TV leads major cable providers in customer satisfaction. Without U-verse, I think we'd be just a big mess. AT&T. During the dog days of summer, heat, humidity, and water can have your makeup looking anything but natural. So how can you look your best? Dee Dee Nickel is a professional makeup artist and is back with some tips that will keep you looking fabulous all summer long. It's great to have you, Dee. Absolutely. Good all to right. be here. It is summer. That really poses a lot of problems for all of us trying to wear makeup. Yes, and it's hot this week, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. So there are a, a number of products and techniques that will work uh, to keep your makeup on looking fresh. The best thing I can say is keep it light. Lighten everything up for the summer. We're going to lighten up the colors. Uh, we're going to lighten up the product. So we're going to start with a primer. That's the number one thing you need, right? Number one thing. It's the first thing you should do. After your sunscreen or your skincare, put on primer. It helps keep the makeup on and looking fresh. You'll use less product um, and it'll actually help prevent oil breakthrough. So that's another good uh, good thing. All right, great. We have two models with us today. We have Jen behind you yeah. and Janet next to me. So let's try with Jen. Okay, so we're going to start with the primer. And the great thing about primer, uh, outside of the fact that it keeps the makeup on, it fills in um, large pores. It, uh, and this fills is for in, everyone, right? Everybody it, should be using this. Everybody should use it. It um, evens out yeah, dry skin. Um, it fills in large pores. Um, so it really works on all skin types. It helps prevent oil How breakup. How much are you putting on there? <laughs> Well, about a pea size amount should do her whole face. And it's got a lot of slip and a lot of movement to it, so you'll see just you don't need a lot of product. Light. Yep, just like you would your moisturizer. And you can use, just, use it like right around the eyes and kind of around the nose area. Great. Great. So the second thing that I think works for everybody is a tinted moisturizer. I mean, the great thing about that for summer is, generally speaking, it's got three things in it already. SPF, it's your moisturizer, and it's got a little tint to it. So it kind of evens out your skin, and so it doesn't look heavy. So you have that slight tan look. Yeah. With that, with that kind <clears throat> of uh, tone. Okay. And, well, even if you're fair, it, you can get this in a variety of colors. So it's great. They come in shades for dark skin and for light skin. So... So this is Whoever a tinted, you are. tinted moisturizer. Tinted moisturizer, yep. And you can see it just gives her enough coverage 
so that she looks nice and smooth without looking cakey. That's the problem in the summer. The more product you try to put on to prevent oil, the cakier it's going to look and it's just going to look heavy and unnatural. So um, this is also good if you're going on vacation because you don't have to pack a sunscreen and a moisturizer and uh, a foundation. And you need to have a really good makeup brush to do this. I would definitely recommend a brush. Um, a lot of people like to use sponges. Sponges mm -hmm. um, soak up too much product in my opinion. A brush gives you a nice even finish. It's almost like painting a, a picture. You know, you, if you paint them with your fingers, it's not going to be as pretty as if you paint it with a brush. Okay. So that's the basic idea. So what comes after this? Okay, so after this would be, um, this is called an invisible blotting powder, and I think this is a product that a lot of people aren't familiar with. Um, it's almost like the little rice papers that you buy to blot um, oil. This is great on all skin types, all skin tones, and all it does is just that. It blocks takes out, out the, the oil, takes out the shine, but it doesn't build up or get cakey. And it doesn't take off the moisturizer either, does it? Not at all. It okay. just kind of sets it. It helps keep her from looking oily. But you want that dewy look. Is this what you're getting right here with yes. that? Yes. Yeah. If you use a traditional uh, like matte powder, you're, you're going to get a matte finish. This is just to absorb oil. So if you want that dewy finish, this is the right product for you. Okay. Great. Great. What else do you have? Okay, so that, are we done with? We are job? done with her. Okay, I might give her a pop good. of color on her cheeks. Smile for me. And so this, this is the uh, this is where you need to put it right there on the on the what do you call it? The, right on the, the apple, apple of, of the, the cheeks. cheeks. Yeah, and for summer, I think peaches are a great choice because peaches are universal. They work great on everyone. They give you kind of that warm glow that everybody wants in the summer. So if you're unsure what color to um, go with, uh, try a peach. Okay, very yeah. good. Great. You look great. <laughs> all right, let's move on all over to Janet. Okay. What, did, what have you done so far to Janet? Well, Janet has on the primer, the tinted moisturizer, um, and a little blush. So we're just going to do color on her and talk about um, shades that kind of work on everyone. Very so good. So we're going to do her eyes. Um, bra again, peaches are a nice choice, but you can also do bronze um, and metallics. Everybody loves the bronze look, especially during the summer. Exactly. And the nice thing about this, you don't have to have a lot of technique to get some impact. If, if you find like a nice bronze, just put it right on the lid. Right on the lid. Yeah, and you can kind of blend it up toward the eyebrow. You don't want to do too much up to, on the eyebrow because that's where someone's going to look. So keep the color kind of tight to the lid. Um, you can also try gold. Oh, gold which would is be beautiful. Fun. Yeah. Um, or even a silver, you know, or a pewter. Look for something that's kind of got that metallic. But I like I, the bronze because it's Again, this is warm. a color that goes with all women of color, right? Exactly. Exactly. So, okay. I know uh, a lot of people have this problem, and not just in the summer, but in general. Eye pencils tend to kind of warm up on the skin, and they'll start kind of moving around. If you've ever had, like, pencil kind of warm up and oh, end up absolutely. in your crease or underneath and when it's hot outside you know that's just not going to work. Looks See, like you're melting. Exactly. So these are gel liners and the gel liners um, are waterproof which is great. So if you're I really outside, prefer gel liners versus the pencil liners now. I really think it just stays longer. They stay longer. Um, they're, again, they're smudge proof. The nice thing about them too is you can use them like a pencil if you want to create like a kind of a smoky eye, which okay. is what we did on Jen. Right. And you're going to show us how to do it right exactly. here. Exactly. I'm going to have you turn your head for me. Now, you do have to buy the, the smudge proof, waterproof type, right? Because right. there are gel liners out there that don't have that. Right. All, pre all products aren't created equal, but uh, so just make sure to ask when you're purchasing something if it's waterproof. It'll generally say on the box. Okay, so how are you creating this smoky look? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, well what we can do is we can use this like a liquid liner if you want like a nice defined um, edge. We can also go in, I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow and kind of smudge it. So if you're not as confident about lining, you just take a shadow. Smudge right over the top. That covers up the mistakes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's foolproof. It's foolproof. Yeah. So see, you almost get two liners in one little pot. That's what's great about it. Now, when you take off makeup, because a lot of makeup right now is waterproof, smudge proof, what can you use? Because I know it's been tough for me to take some of that stuff off. Right. You have to read um, the what the label on your makeup remover says. A lot of them are water-based and won't take off um, waterproof makeup. So you need something that's oil-based. 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 Yeah, you can find it in all kinds of price points. Um, you know, you can, if, if you have baby oil or um, uh, Vaseline, yes. something like that will take off all waterproof products. 
That's what I've been using. Let me have you turn. Okay. Yeah, so we'll do her the other side of her eye so she matches. It takes practice to do this too, so. It sure does. I mean, you want to make sure you have a brush that you're comfortable mm -hmm. with. I'm using a really skinny tipped brush, but you can also use an angle brush. Uh, you know, a lot of people have an angle brush in their kit. Wow. Yeah, so that's a quick, quick, quick summer eye. Lots of mascara. I would tend to keep it clean. Don't, I wouldn't use the gel liners underneath. They look too severe. Um, so if you want a line underneath, use um, some of the eyeshadow. Um, but otherwise, just keep the lash line defined. You want to look up for me? Perfect. That's beautiful. Yeah. Now, for people who are a little older, less is always better. Less is always more. That is correct. Um, and that's why we don't want to do too much liner underneath. Look up for me. See, just keep it, keep it clean. Now, the under the eye, I mean, that's something we all, all women are always very critical. Yeah. Because we, we want to get rid of the, the baggy look or the dark look underneath the eye. So right. what are you doing there? Well, I'm just cleaning up with a concealer and a concealer brush. How do you choose a concealer, the right concealer for you? Okay, this is a good question. Especially in the summer, a lot of people are tan. Mm -hmm. um, and the traditional, you know, light, medium, dark formulas are going to look kind of um, gray or ashy. You want to look for a concealer if you have some summer, summer color that's got a little peach tone to it. It almost looks like um, a salmon color. Okay. So that's something to keep, keep an eye out for. Peach tone. Yep. And what something about powder? Powder, I would just recommend using the oil blotting powder in the summer, the one that we used um, on Jennifer. Right. And, um, and color-wise, you go darker, darker well, shade, how do you do that? No, you want to match it to your skin tone. You do? Okay. I am, however, going to use, I can, I'm going to do a little bronzer on her, so we'll talk about bronzers and powders at the same time. You can use a powder that's two shades darker than your natural skin tone to get kind of a warm summer glow. Um, so you don't, if you don't have a bronzer, look for a powder that's a little bit darker. Chin up for me. So we're going to start on her neck. And you always want to start on the neck because that's when you have the most uh, product on your brush. Your neck is always going to be lighter than your face. You know, our chin's get in the way. Right, it's not it, as, ex yeah. as exposed as your face exactly, is. Exactly, exactly. So always use your bronzer or your darker powder on the neck and then take whatever's left and use it on your temples. And this is to give somewhat of a contour to just, your Just to, to give kind face? of a healthy glow. Okay. We're doing it the same. If you were using a bronzer, that's fine. I'm using a darker powder. The reason I'm doing that, a lot of bronzer um, formulas are too orange or they're too shimmery. And you end up looking, you know, too orange and shimmery. <laughs> so it's just an alternative. You look beautiful, Janet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then we, we what are we going to do for her lips? For her lips, we're going to use a product that's called a lip stain, um, or sometimes it's called long-wearing lipstick. It's not as heavy as lipstick. It's, it's matte, and what it basically does is creates a stain on your lips. So if your makeup's melting, that's going to stay put, just like the gel eyeliner. We don't eyeliner. have much more time here, so okay. we can just take a look at this because I want to see her okay. finished look. Sure. So you just put the lip stain on and then just top it with a gloss. Oh, yeah. And again, I'm using a bronze. It's a universal color. Bronzes and peaches are great on everyone. Oh, it just brightens it up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's great. All right, some great tips for the summer. Yes. Didi, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> and if you missed any of these tips, you can find this segment online. Just click on WTNH.com and click on Connecticut Style. Hope to have you on again. Great, thank you. And stay with us, Connecticut Style. Is, uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes. Don't get stuck in traffic. Log on to the WTNH.com traffic cams page and plan your commute. Sponsored by your Tri-State Ford dealers. Visit your Tri-State Ford dealers today and drive one. Tonight, the final three bachelors, the overnight date. Can we get out of here? One guy will leave before dessert, <gasps> and another will return. What are you doing here? The Bachelorette, all new tonight, 8, 7 central on ABC.
you love to cook already or want to learn to be more confident in the kitchen, our next guest will inspire you. Betty Ann Donigan and Stephanie Dietz, our mother-daughter cooking duo team. They're instructors from Brantford and back with us today. Welcome to the show. It's always great to have you guys here. We're delighted you. to be here. I always learn something when you guys are here, for sure. That's the idea. I guess, I guess that's why you guys are cooking instructors. All right, what are we making here today? We're going to make a couscous salad with caponata. Oh, and this is a pretty traditional dish in Sicily, you were telling yes. me. Yes, and this is a, a very unusual style because this has a lot of influence from all the um, people that overtook Sicily, the Moors and the North Africans and the, and the Middle Easterns and the Romans and the Spaniards and everybody overtook Sicily. So there's a little bit of everything. We have cinnamon, we have curry. Yeah, it's not typically Italian. Exactly. Even the, the couscous, right? The couscous right? is from the Middle East. So it's a very, very eclectic mix of food. But it really is delicious. And we have some fresh basil here. This we just picked from my garden this morning. Oh, it's lovely. And all these vegetables are grown in Sicily. Peppers and eggplant and squash are very, very common. Caponata is the national dish of Sicily. Okay. So we're just taking that and we're going to just add it to the couscous and make a salad out of it. And Seth's going to tell about the, um, the recipe a little so bit. So in here I have um, a little bit of olive oil with the zucchini and the yellow squash, the red peppers, the onion, and the eggplant, of course. If it's just Sicily. Just a typical size, you would say? Yeah. yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Just, uh, one of these. Um, okay. yeah. Exactly, yeah. And, um, and we saute this, and there's a few more things I have to add. So would you like to help oh, me with yes. the garlic? I, I'm a great helper in the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> so you can just um, press the garlic in here. And this is the um, spices, cinnamon, um, hot curry powder, and a medium hot chili powder. Okay. Okay. And if, if you don't have um, a hot curry, you could use the sweet curry and put a little cayenne in, and okay. that would be just fine also. So we want to do all four those. of these cloves sure. also? Okay. Yeah, we love garlic. Can't go wrong with that, and right? then these are some raisins that we're going to throw so in. Sweeten it up nicely, yeah, right? It's, yeah. Every time I tested this recipe, I would I kept adding more and more raisins because you would take a bite and it's really nice to get a little bit of sweet with all of the uh, different herbs. So we're going to get all that in and saute it a little bit, and then I'm yeah. going to cover it so that um, the raisins will plump a little bit. Okay. You got I that? get that that's last good. bit yeah, for me. Great. Thank you. And I'm just going to put some of these things into the couscous. This couscous was cooked in vegetable stock, but you could use the chicken, chicken stock. Lettuce, sure, but either keeping way. it 100% vegetarian. Yeah, exactly. Right. So we just cooked it and for about 15 minutes, and here it is. And this is Israeli couscous. You can see that it's big. Israeli couscous is couscous that's been toasted. Okay. And that gives it a nuttiness. So I'm going to put in these are tomatoes that we just sliced up. <laughs> little so, grape ones? Yeah, little grape tomatoes. Okay. But anything you have in your garden is fine. Anything. It doesn't really matter. And we did those in the Cuisinart. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because it's easy to, and quick. Yeah. And these are some toasted uh, sunflower seeds. And this is because there's lysine in sunflower seeds, which is good to add to any kind of a pasta. You want to put lysine. That's one of the amino acids that's lacking when you have um, pasta. So this adds it. I'm going to put some basil in. I'm just going to chiffonade this. And this is just cutting it into thin ribbons. Chiffonade. Is that Chiff the term? Chiffonade. That's the term. It means made of rags. And it's a French term, and it means you're taking this in very, very thin strips. And that brings the flavor of the basil out, because the, there's oil in the basil. And when you slice it like that, mm -hmm. it, the flavor comes Ooh, out. I'm getting such nice aromas already. Oh. Yes. And this basil, I just, we just picked this this morning from my garden. And all these vegetables, except for that pepper, came from my garden. These are the kind of things you would have in the garden in Connecticut in the summer. So that's what we thought doing this now, because you're going to yes, get so into it. readily available. <laughs> exactly. Easy. Yep. So what I did was I just took the basil and took the biggest leaf and mm -hmm. rolled up and like, a, like you're doing a cigar and then just slicing it very, very thin. And this is everything now, when, it, when, the, um, when the hot mixture is added, will warm this up a little bit. Now this is the kind of dish, you're not going to serve this right out of the refrigerator. Okay. You want to either serve it warm or at room temperature. Got it. Yeah, because oh, the no. olive oil can kind of congeal if it's really cold out of the fridge, so you want to give it a minute to great. warm up. I should now, ask you, how are the cooking classes going? Great. It's terrific. Great, and we're going to Amalfi in September. Oh, how fun. You'll bring back more recipes yep, for us. Back, we always bring back several recipes. Yeah. That's, one, that's why we go. Okay. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Oh, that be wonderful. Everybody's very excited about going. Yeah, and the cooking you classes stir are going that great. Up for us? Oh, yeah, I'd love to help. We have uh, about a minute left. It looks like we're almost done here. Yeah. You have to stir it, and that's, that's all there is to I it. I could stir it. Oh, yeah. wow. It almost smells sweet. Yep. It, well, that's because of the raisins, and that's because of the curry. Now, you see how pretty it looks with all the yes. colors? The basil is pretty, and it's, it's a great dish to have. This will keep for several days in the fridge. Great. It's great to take for lunch. You can also serve this as a side if you mm. have a piece of meat. Oh, okay. It goes great with a piece of steak or a piece of chicken or fish or whatever you, whatever you want to serve it with. Yeah. And you guys can stay to the end of the show because I know Jocelyn's going to want to give this a taste. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You can find the recipe on WTNH.com. Coming up next, staying in touch with your college-bound student. Jocelyn talks to the author of The I Connected Parent. When Connecticut Style returns, don't go anywhere.
Everyone's talking about the budget cuts that are coming, and we are listening. I can't understand why the kids always have to take a hit when it's always the government level spending, spending, spending. If these cuts do happen, it will set back the progress years and years. I don't want to retire. I don't want to bump anybody. I want to work. It's not just our families and our children that are affected by these layoffs, but the people who have not a big voice to be able to get some help. We're going to keep making sure your voice is heard. Who's got your back? News 8. Just when you thought you were done with your paint project, you discover paint bleed under your tape. Not anymore with patented Frog Tape. Frog Tape is the only tape treated with paint block technology. Watch how it works. Paint block reacts with water, simulating latex paint, and instantly gels to form a micro barrier that seals the edges of the tape, preventing paint bleed. Look at the results. With Frog Tape, no messy lines, no paint bleed. Frog Tape keeps paint out, keeps lines sharp. Available at all fine home centers, hardware, and paint retailers. Do you or a loved one age 18 to 64 have schizophrenia? If so, and you're taking a stable dose of Zyprexa or Abilify, call to learn about an investigational research study of an FDA-approved medication for schizophrenia sufferers. All study-related exams and study medication will be provided at no cost to adults who qualify. To learn more, call now toll-free 1-866-950-2121. 1-866-950-2121. Until recently, college students had to learn life lessons the hard way by thinking it through on their own. But with the advent of texting, Skyping, social media, it's become easier for college kids to just call mom or dad for an answer. Well, Abigail Sullivan Moore is the co-author of The I Connected Parent. It's a resource for parents who want to stay close to their college students while letting them grow up as well. Abigail is both a Connecticut parent and a journalist and joins us now. It's great to have you. Well, thank you for having me. It's great to be here today. Now, you co-wrote this book with Barbara Hofer. How did this all come about? Well, I write frequently for the New York Times, and I write for a section called Education Life, and we cover what happens in high school and college, mostly college. And in the process of writing a story about how connected parents were to their kids, mm -hmm. I found out about Dr. Barbara Hofer, who is a psychology professor at Middlebury, and perhaps one of the only people who's actually done research on how often college students and parents are in contact. So what did you guys find out? Well, what we found out is that there are a lot of contact, and I'm sure if you're a, a parent of a college student, it's no surprise to you. But uh, what we found uh, in Barbara's surveys, she found that on average, kids and parents were in contact about twice a day. And when I went out and did reporting on this around the country, uh, I also found that I found kids who were in quite a bit more contact than that, five, six, seven, even eight times a day, e you know, either texting calls, emails, Facebook messages, um, all the different ways we have to communicate. So some kids were in contact quite a bit more than uh, twice a day, and some, of course, were in contact a lot less than that, because it's a real spectrum. So is that too much? Well, it can be too much. I think uh, college really is the time developmentally when you want to have some space, when you want to ha your college student to separate from the family and become their own person. And that's hard to do if you're in contact twice a day with uh, mom and dad. And so you have some tips for parents as to how to make your child more independent. Okay, so the first one is, you say to really start early to encourage this independence. Real, yes, start early in the middle and high school years. Because what we found is that what happens in the middle and high school years really sets the pace for what happens in college. So if you're the kind of parent in middle school and high school who is constantly responding to your kids' texts that, you know, I forgot my homework, can you please bring it to school? I forgot my team uniform, can you get it to the practice field? Um, you got to you know, cut that off a little bit? Well, you got to encourage them to, you know, let's lay your clothes out the night before. There let's you go. find, yeah, let's get your homework in the backpack the night before. I mean, you want to encourage them to become independent and really applaud them when they do. So it's this learned behavior so that when they get to college, they're not calling you when, you know, they, they can't find, uh, find their textbook. And also, you say before going to college, work out a calling plan? Yeah, because what's happened is that so suddenly, if you really think about it, over the last 10 years, we have been able to increasingly communicate with our kids 24-7. And this is very different from what happened, let's say, even 15 years ago. So now what we have is this ability to call our kids or have our kids call us 
or Facebook us uh, constantly. And so what we're saying is really let's, let's think about how you want to manage this communication. So one good way is to sit down before you go to school, before your kid heads off to college and say, yeah, let's talk about how we want to communicate and what do you think is a good way. And so what we're suggesting is so to sit down and have that talk. And what I recommend is really to insist at least on a weekly phone call where you actually hear your child's voice. And then from there, um, I, I think you need to let your child set the lead. Absolutely, because you do want them to be more independent. Now, you have some book signings coming up, and the first one is August 3rd at RJ Julia in Madison. Yes. And August 23rd third at Bank Square Books in Mystic. That's it. Great book and it's just wonderful advice for, for, for parents and kids. Thank you so much, Abigail. Oh, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. And don't go away. There's more Connecticut style right after this. I'm Rachel Lutzker for Advanced Window Systems. I do our budget and pay our bills. I just got to get real value every time. Why Advanced Window Systems? A great local company, a federal tax credit, the industry's best warranty, and low factory direct pricing. You'll get a lifetime warranty that's the best in the industry. It even covers this kind of breakage. AWS installs premium roofing and siding too. Call now. Pay no interest for one year. 1-800-841-6544. I want you to buy a car. July, hot weather and lots of car commercials. Dealers want you to believe that you'll pay less for a car just because it's a holiday. At Bob's of Milford, you'll always pay less no matter what day it is. You could drive away in this brand new Buick Cross for just $1.99 a month. Don't believe the holiday sales. Come to Bob's and save every day. Bob's of Milford. He just wants to get you alone. Open Sunday. The Connecticut Sun are having a great season so far. If you want to see the WNBA women in action, just log on to ConnecticutStyle.tv for a chance to win a family four-pack to an upcoming game. And we're back in the kitchen ready to eat this couscous salad. It looks fabulous. Everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. It smells delightful. Yeah. And Ooh, where can we get, where can we get you book? The book is I Connected Parent. Where can you get it? You can get it at uh, Barnes & Noble. You can get it at any of your independent bookstores. You can get it at Amazon. Um, orders. Excellent. Very good. Oh, this is well, this is not going to have any? Oh, I, I, you guys I have done yourself. Oh, this is so okay. good. I have some. This looks, this looks delicious. It looks like you got a little car raisin or currant yeah. in here. Oh, all right. Well, we're just about out of time. Mm. We want to thank all of our guests today, Benny and Donegan and Stephanie mm. Dietz for lunch, Abigail Sullivan Moore, Dee Dee Nickel. But most of all, thank you for watching. Make it a great day. Oh, this Bye. is yummy. I love it. This is delicious. It's really good. Yeah. This is delicious.